Hello everyone, my name is Zach and welcome to Painting Support Group. Today we're going to be making a night's tent, or a pavilion, as it's sometimes called. Um, so, first of all, I've got an old spray bottle lid and I'm sticking it down to a base. This is an MDF base, but if you don't have one of those, then you can just get some cardboard or whatever. I've just put a knight there, this is one of the Perry Miniatures knights, just to check the scale, and I'm happy with it. It's quite a big tent, but, you know, knights did that. Now I'm just getting some old um, card, where it's kind of thick paper, and I've drawn a larger circle on it. It doesn't really matter the diameter of the circle, um, the bigger the diameter, the higher the roof of your um, tent is going to be. So I've drawn that out and now I'm just cutting a nice straight line so I can turn that circle into a cone. And I'll be able to fold it round. Just cutting one line for the minute. And you could measure that out. You can see it's not exactly in the right place. Um, but actually a lot of this is going to get covered up anyway. So now I've just worked out how what size I want my cone to be, and I'm marking where I'm going to cut the other line. There we go. And now using some boss stick. So I didn't actually cut up to that line that I drew because I needed a tab to glue um, the rest of it onto. Then I can curve it round, stick it down. I'm gonna just trial it on my tent I think I then take it off just to make sure that it's stuck properly. There we go, that's once it's dry, fits on nicely. Very good. Okay, time for the glue again. You could use a hot glue gun for this and that would um, decrease the gluing time, but um, I quite like my super glue. So I've glued around the top and a gel glue is best for this because the um, the surface that you're gluing to is really quite small. And there we have the basic shape. Now if you actually had a white lid that would be probably a bit better because um, in the end this tent is going to be white but I was just working with what I had. Um, everything that I use for this is completely free because I already had it in my house. So now I'm painting some PVA and water on and then kind of um, paper macheing on some toilet paper. Um, you want to use the really cheap toilet paper that doesn't have any patterns on it, unless of course you want little Andrex puppies all over your medieval tent. So I've done that for the walls and I've painted, first I painted the glue on and, and then I stuck on the paper and then I painted over the top and now I'm doing exactly the same to the roof and I've previously cut this paper into triangles so that um, it kind of layers onto the roof quite well. And now I'm painting over the top there with the watered down PVA so that it really soaks into the um, into the toilet paper. Just neatening it up. Any folds do kind of look okay because it is meant to look like fabric. And then we're going to do the drip strip. So on medieval pavilions, um, the roofs and the walls were often separate. So attached to the roof, there would be a strip that went round and hung down to overlap so that then if it did rain, um, it would drip on the outside of the walls. So I'm just getting a measurement here just to make sure that this piece of card fits round. Gluing it down. Taking it off to glue it. There we go. And then I'm going to, once that's stuck, I'm going to glue around the edge. Oh, just trying it. I'm not going to glue it yet. I'm going to try it on again just to make sure that it is a good fit because it needs to be a really good fit for this. That's 
that's very important. And um, if I wanted to be flashy, I could always um, do some designs on this, you know, cut it into DAGs or something like that. Um, but I just want a really basic one, get this done quickly. And now I'm going to take my glue and go all the way around the edge, just doing a thin bead and then putting my drip strip back on. You really don't really need much glue for any of this because none of these joints are actually load bearing. The weight is all really minimal. So um, yeah, it, you don't need too much glue. Just making sure that fits nicely. And here I actually um, forgot to take any footage of just paper macheing over the drip strip again. So that happened, but you didn't see it. Then I sprayed it with um, some white and also with Games Workshop's Wraithbone spray, just kind of a mix of both, just to give it a bit of um, difference in the colors. And now I'm doing the design on it. And rather than paint it, I'm doing it with a felt tip pen. Nice and simple, keep it simple. And to make sure that it's roughly e equal, um, even on every side, I sketched out quarters right at the top and then just followed them all the way down, all the way down onto the drip strip and then all the way down and around. So the tent is split into eighths. Because I, I first did quarters and then split those again, so in eighths. Now, again, you could do really... Um, detailed designs on this. There's some amazing tents in the medieval period, but I'm just keeping it simple. And now to match the rest of my collection, I'm using Steel Legion Drab from Citadel to paint the base, going over the top of some of the uh, supposed tent fabric there. It's just painting that just to get a nice even color doesn't matter if it's not too even because we are going to cover it in oh first of all I need to dry it there we go use a hairdryer to speed it up nice and quick drying and you've got to be careful though because uh, that lid that I put there to catch the spare basing material just took off um, right so there we go it's ready Got some PVA glue and water again. Slightly thicker mix than last time. And I'm just going to paint that on on top of the Steel Legion drab. And make sure it's everywhere. And then I've got some Geek Gaming Base Ready mix. Now this is one of the... I can't remember the name of this mix, but... Um, have a look through because they're I love their base ready so they're really really good and just adding a bit more there just so that I can put some clump foliage on top and this is just to match my um, army so obviously if you've got a different army then base yours to match your army here is said army it's more of a household really it's not really a huge army on their nice little display board and going to get rid of the house and put my tent in. There we go. I think that looks pretty good for minimal effort and absolutely no money whatsoever. There we go. The Lord can stand outside his tent and point. So thank you very much for joining me. If you've enjoyed this, please do leave a like. Uh, do subscribe and or share that would be really great and if you have a go at making one of these yourself please do let me know I'd love to see it so uh, um, follow the link in the description and uh, share it on the Facebook group see ya